Hi everyone. Uh, I've been asked a lot lately about how to prune hydrangeas and take cuttings from them. So what I'm going to try and show you now is what I do this year and what I'll do for next year. If you look down the bottom here, there's a lot of green growth. Now then, this green growth is what they fl the flowers are on ne for next year. So in order to encourage a lot of green growth, I take these which are the last year's growth which are brown which you can see there so I cut some of them and move it out of the way I would cut in the spring I'll cut this down to about there or if you want to keep more you can do it just cut just above there that will encourage new growth from the bottom it won't flower in the same year because obviously you won't have produced any of this so that's what I did that last year I if I can find a piece here I cut them right down inside so you, you had new growth from the bottom and then if you do that every year take out these large branches then next year take them out to about halfway down you'll encourage new growth from there but only take about a third of them because if you take too much you won't have flowers next year but that will encourage new growth as you can see some of the growth at the top very tall so I shall use this and move these out of the way they're quite long so rather than have them that high next year I'm going to use them as cuttings so I shall cut them quite way down inside there that is quite low to there that will encourage some side shoots to come out from there this year which hopefully will flower for next year and I'll do the same with all of these at the back Cut them out, take a long length, as far as you want. Cut them even short if you want to, like that. So you cut the new growth out. And again, that's the flowering tip for next year. So you can use that as your cutting for this year. If you cut, count, there's one, two, three sets of, le of leaves. You can cut just below the leaf joint there like that then you can trim the side shoots off like that there and there and then if you pinch that tip out there you then have a decent sized cutting I've been asked whether to use uh, different types of compost. You can use ordinary multi-purpose compost. You can use compost with a grit in it, perlite or vermiculite. It really is up to you what you use and what's available, but it will grow in any of them. And then, as I've said before, if you have a pot of compost, just place half a dozen around the center of the circle of the pot, and then you will have a few cuttings for next year. They won't all root, but some uh, will. If you grow your hydrangeas in a pot, obviously they don't grow as fast as they do in the garden, so they need very little pruning. This one here, which is in a pot, but as you can see, there's very little new growth on this. This is the only new growth we've got this year, which is that one there, and a couple of little ones in between. You can use them as cuttings if you want to, but because there's very little growth on them, I'll leave them. Then all you do in the spring is to, once these are finished flowering and they've turned brown, just cut them just to the leaf joint there and then you will find that you'll have new shoots coming on either side so although it will flower prol prolifically it's not as big a plant as you would have in the garden right. this is a different variety of hydrangea these are the paniculatus type and they produce much taller flowers on them these you cut them right down every spring and they flower on the new growth they make this year as you can see this one if you can follow it all the way down was actually cut right down to the bottom there right down to there this year and all of this is new growth and it's done the same all over and the flower heads will come on the top there they're just beginning to to come so these are easy you just chop them down every spring as low as you want the um, only problem is they get quite tall and they sometimes need staking. There's another smaller variety here. 
again this one's near nearly in flower this is again another paniculata but it's a smaller variety it's a shorter variety so there are a number of different types but again you can see they are just about to come in cut all the foliage all the, the branches off in the spring and that is all this year's growth I've been asked to give a list if I can of the hydrangeas I put on my video recently well this is a list of all that were on there obviously there's a lot more different varieties but Hopefully this will help. 